When a smoker inhales a puff of tobacco smoke, a bolus of nicotine is delivered to the lungs. It rapidly traverses the alveolar capillary membrane, passing through the pulmonary veins, the left atrium, the left ventricle to the aorta. From here, it is distributed in high concentration to the entire body, but especially to the coronary arteries and straight up the carotid arteries to the brain. When a smoker inhales, nicotine molecules carried both in the gas phase and on the surface of tar particles are rapidly absorbed across the alveolar capillary membrane. In literally a heartbeat and still extremely concentrated, nicotine traverses the left atrium and ventricle of the heart and is pumped into the aorta. Still 10 times more concentrated than it will be at steady state, nicotine and carbon monoxide are rapidly distributed to the coronary circulation, supplying the heart, the carotid arteries, supplying the brain, and to the entire body. When nicotine reaches the head in two or three more seconds, it is rapidly distributed to the entire brain, including the mesolimbic dopaminergic and the reticular activating norepinephrine systems. Exactly like the normal activation of the pleasure reward pathway, nicotine then causes specific activation of ventral tegmental area neurons, which in turn activates the nucleus accumbens, the amygdala, and the prefrontal cortex. Nicotine increases dopamine release, directly causing the sensation of pleasure. Nicotine also stimulates the locus ceruleus, causing norepinephrine release, leading to a generalized brain activation and arousal, increased alertness, concentration and intellectual skills, enhanced memory, and improved problem-solving behavior. In addition, norepinephrine reduces appetite, contributing to the smoker's lower weight compared to non-smokers.